one's flying across the field in autonomous as 169 he releases it and grabs a mobile goal starting to collect cones from the mobile load station during autonomous blue and red both putting cones in the 10 point scoring zone refs counting up the scores Both alliances out here have a 1-2 record. They're looking to make a split. All right, Thomas goes to red. Driver control starts in three, two, one, go. As the refs were adding up the scores, Vexman, 81Y, were strategizing between the drivers of what they were gonna do next in the match. Cross off the floor is 81Y trying to grab onto a mobile goal, successfully securing it. Bam! Have their own blue mobile goal in their possession, trying to use a roller intake system to pick one up off the floor. 169E snags the one left behind by 848-180S, adds it to their mobile goal. Team Blank on the other side of the field. Holding on to their stack, bring it over, placing it into the 10 point scoring zone, becoming the tallest stack. 48180S, adding three cones, maybe four cones. Yes, onto the stationary goal in the center of the field. 169E, drivers working together to get an incredibly tall stack onto the mobile goal. 30 seconds left in the match. All four robots look like they're converging on the far side of the field. The cavalry trying to release the cone from their lower intake system. It looks a little stuck. Their alliance partners in red placing a mobile goal into the 10 point scoring zone. Nine seconds left, 169 is up. Oh no! All their cones unfortunately tumble off of their mobile goal, but they still get in 10 point scoring zone. Time runs out. Refs checking out which robots count as being parked onto the parking tiles. Oh. Exciting end to match number 12. And with that, we'll send it over to Paul, Paul and Karthik. Well, Math definitely looked like they were in control of that match there, and then that stack toppled at the end. So, yeah, I, I had them ahead the whole match, but now, I, I, you know, I, I'm not so sure. Uh, it's... Um, yeah, it, that toppled really threw everyone for a loop in that one. We thought that had that well in hand. I got to tell you, Karthik, I was thinking about <coughs> thinking about all the designs and how the, the season being so long, a lot of designs look very similar. But this is the ye first year that we've ever used cones as a scoring object. Right. And not only did we just make cones a scoring object, we made the goal a cone and a scoring object as well. So what I found with a lot of these teams in the round robin, while their designs may be a little bit similar with their mechanism, their arms, their grippers are not. What they're using to interface with the cones is a wide variability. There's the, 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 the sprocket rubber band intake, active intake roller. We've got some people that made it out of uh, polycarbonate and formed it to the, to the goal. We have some passive locking using the geometry of the cone to their advantage. So I really like the, the different ways that these teams have come up with uh, manipulating those cones pretty quickly. So that was a really interesting match there. We want to see if those toppled cones really did make the difference. So we're going to take a look at our score right away to see if Math was still able to pull it out. And they were 101 to 93. And now all teams have played four matches here in the round robin. So let's take a look at the updated rankings. And there it is. We see technology in first. We talked about that. We have a three-way tie for second place right now between engineering, arts, and math. However, engineering has wins over arts and math already.